What is up guys, this is DKL Poe and the Samurai Showdown Tam Tam trailer is out. We're going to watch the trailer and then we're going to break it down right afterward. All right, guys, that was the trailer. Let's slow it down so that we can break it down step by step. All right, so Tam Tam, for me, I'm very excited to um, see this character in motion. Uh, it's one of the characters I really enjoyed playing in Samurai Showdown Special, uh, 5 Special. And he, it's mainly because he's a little weird and unorthodox. Um... He's looking a little different this time around. Uh, more markings around his mask. And I like it. I like uh, all the added details to the character. To most, you know, to all the characters. All the character designs have been really cool for me. And it's him doing his uh, his pose right before he fights. Or is that his win pose? I don't know. But this right here, we get to see a really, really far-ranging uh, standing light. And it looks pretty safe. And he's going to go into his light Ahua Gabura. It's the light one because of the range he jumps at and he shoots the projectile at. Right here we get to see his command grab. His, um, what's that command grab? Well, Gabura Gabura. Yeah, the command grab is called Gabura Gabura. Uh, right here we're going to see his weapon flip technique, which is kind of a modified version of his Ahau Gabura. See, it's like pretty much looks like the light version of the first one we saw. Right here, we're gonna see the medium version of his Mula Mula skulls. Um, you can, it's a, almost like a Rekka for projectiles. You can do up to three in a row. And this is the medium one. The medium ones hit low, and the the light ones actually get thrown at a medium height. Some big skulls. I wonder who they belong to. Right here we see the activation of his Paguna Paguna. Uh, it's essentially just forward and a an attack move. Now, if... In, in previous games, I don't know if it's going to be the same. This part where it looks like he's taunting, that was kind of a get off me. like Because that, that animation did hit your opponent. And then it went right into getting hit by the blades. And if the blades whiffed, or if the the there wasn't an opponent in the blades, uh, it would move Tam Tam forward a little bit. Uh, this is the hard version of the Paguna Dios. And I'm saying it's the hard version because of the travel distance that he spins. Uh, and this right here, uh, this was his mid-round uh, win pose. He's got it back. It looks a little longer than, than before, but... I'm wondering whose foot this is. I can't really tell, guys. Is it Shiki? Is it Homaru? Is it who is that? Somebody tell me down below. Right here, uh, Homaru is gonna get punished with the Isen, the lightning blade, and we're going to rate his pose. Now that pose is really good. That pose is really that pose gets a nine, and this pose gets a seven. So I'm gonna average it out to like eight for his Isen. Right here, we get to see his. Lightning, his, not his lightning blade, sorry, his super special move activate. And the interesting part about this super special move is that it kind of mixes two of his special moves from previous games together. Now you see here, you see his homies drop, right? And you see the totem go up. Before, the uh, totem was one, sp uh, once was in one special move called Magnus Diozal. And the homies used to come out in his uh, Ahao Castiga uh pretty much finishing move uh in previous games where and it was one that champ champ came in at the end but i, I guess for more dramatic effect they decided to mix them both and give him a cool looking super special move because the the one with the totem did kind of end abruptly before 
And this should probably be the end of his super special move. It's a weird edit, like if it's its own super special move, but this should be the end of it. When the guy, when the uh, opponent drops back down from the totem. Uh, that was it. That was the Tam Tam breakdown, guys. Thank you for listening. Hopefully you guys leave a like, a, f- uh, uh, a subscription, or even a share if anybody's interested in seeing the Tam Tam trailer be broken down. Thank you very much for listening. This has been Poe. I'll see you June 25th. And uh, yeah, embrace death. (laughs) See you guys. Thank you for listening. Bye.